should we have a look at F1 stuff? Formula. F Formula. Oh. The key details of F1's new plan for Saturday's sprint race. Um, Abu Dhabi race highlights. Should we have a look at this? I may know who's number one, but I've not seen the rest, so... Um, 2020 F1, their biggest heart rates. I reckon I'm going to feature twice on here. <laughs> Let's get stuck into Ricardo, that's how Alex Albon, one of a few drivers that's never stood on the podium. He fancies that podium place. He wants to take it off Danny Ricardo. He's going to go the long way around. Al Bono. The first corner, it now nice one. Alex Albon. Lovely move from the Red Bull driver. Lap 50 of this race, Alex Albon. Nice one, Albon. Back into the podium standings again. Nice job. Nice job. That's not on me, is it? Oh. Thank God. What's gonna happen here? The old switcheroo. Bang. Oh, okay, Kimi. Next one is Grosjean, Magnussen. They are both on soft. He doesn't mess around, old Kimi boy. Leclerc is right on the tail of Kevin Magnussen now as well. And he goes wheel to wheel. Magnussen stays ahead, going through the Villeneuve chicane. Leclerc is going to try and fight this. Alex Albon is coming to join this party as well. And unbelievably, Brown Tozer. It's like <laughs> Schumacher <laughs> Montoya, isn't it? But this time, <laughs> it's trying Leclerc to keep up with Ferrari, himself. And it's Kevin Magnussen, the other oh. car, who's part of the overtaking battle. Going round the outside, round the Charles outside. Leclerc makes that move stick. Good driving from oh, both of them. K-Mag is not an easy boy to race against. We've got to be honest there. Here he is. What's going to happen here? Ooh. Fair play. Fair play. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. That is the encouragement Look how we close need. Daniel Ricciardo is to Charles Leclerc. <coughs> tries to move over to cover the inside and forces Daniel Ricciardo the long way round or into the little switcheroo here. He's got very good traction coming out of turn one. He's going to have to live with a Ferrari all the way around turn two. He is ahead, Daniel Ricciardo. He is in fourth place. Charles Leclerc is trying to fight it back. But nice Ricciardo one, Daniel Rick. Will keep that fourth. Great move. Great it move. was coming, wasn't it? And Leclerc put it off as long as he could, but. Daniel tried Did he every third way race. and finally Did, this right? one worked. Good stuff around the outside. He knew he could trust Leclerc. He's Leclair in the way. My camera's, the side side my camera's in the way. And the boss there, Luca De Mayo. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guys. We're racing again. Much in the way. And it is lap 24 of this Italian Grand Prix. And Charles Leclerc is putting Kimi Raikkonen under pressure behind there you go. Antonio Giovinazzi. He's got past Raikkonen. He might clear two hours. He's about 300 metres here. And he does. Charles Leclerc. He picks off Raikkonen and You're picks welcome. off Giovinazzi as well. Nice one, Charles. It's weird. Like, I've not seen half of these overtakes. I've seen this one. As we watch Alex Albon here, whoa, 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 almost whoa. onto the grass whoa. in his I pursuit of Kimi Raikkonen. I think we've got a bit of track limits here. Alexander. Alexander. Hold up one second, mate. As we watch Alex Albon. That's definitely a bit of track limits, I reckon. It's definitely a bit of track limits. Well, wait, wait, that time, mate. Going almost onto the grass in his pursuit of Kimi Raikkonen goes around the outside of oh, Stowe. And they get very, very close. Kimi gave him enough room there and enough respect. And that was bravery from Alex oh, Albon. Uh -huh. 
That's good racing, it really is. That's top door overtaking. Now Sergio Perez is going to be a bit under pressure with Pierre Gasly as they go side by side through a rouge. And Pierre Gasly, what a move that was of Sergio Perez. On board with Pierre Gasly and Sergio Perez on his left. As ever, the action midfield absolutely brilliant and aggressive too. Oh, my family. Did I miss him? There goes George Russell, and Valtteri Bottas goes a little bit wider through turn four. Russell's now going to have a go at him on this twisty. Ah, uh, we don't want to see this. We don't want to see this. <laughs> this is in the past. This is all in the past. We're looking forward. Oh, crikey. What is this? Did George Russell really get a puncture? Why wait for Valentine's Day? Oh! <laughs> Export any day. Interesting With advert. Alright, we're gonna have a little look at this and then we'll, we'll call it there because my dinner's gonna be on the table any minute. Oh, ah! Brake failure. There's a brake failure, I reckon. Whoa! In the buzzers? Out of the buzzers. Whoa, why is this all out of Australia? Oh no. Oh, this is 2008. So Felipe would have won that year. It's half of this season. There looks absolutely no grip. And again, what happened there? What is going on this year? I thought these cars were cool to drive. Oh, I remember this one. The infamous Ride of Alonso. It was chaos this year. Was it chaos this year as well? Uh, in 2020, not uh, as much chaos as this. It's gonna happen there, JB, throw it down the inside. Yes. DC did a late, late close of the door there, actually. That is unlucky. Reminiscent of Spa 2020, George Russell and Tony Giovinazzi. Puncture incoming. It all went down this year. <laughs> it all went down. Turkey, nobody wants to remember Turkey. We didn't even win that race. Yes, Jamie.
just doing chaos as well. Oh. That marshal's straight out of the yellow flag. Nico. Oh no. I mean, a lot of people give shit about these current F1 cars, but they are bloody fast, and this didn't look very pretty, to be fair, that year. They sounded cool. Part two. <laughs> we don't want to look at part two. This is mean. But they are fast. I reckon if we had... I reckon if we had the engines of that era with these current cars, that would be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful.